Hello, so today I am headed to Tremaine Quay, which is on the Lizard Peninsula uh, in Cornwall in England. Today I'm riding a two-wheel bike. Um, it's got uh, 18 gears, I think. I've got a little ramp on the back. I've got a light on the back. You never know who's going to pass. Um, got, got, got a load of rubbish in this bag and you know me tool kit stuff like that on handlebars got front light gps light handlebars so we'll just carry on on our ride i am cycling along on a two-wheel bike uh just to make a change really there's a uh, few uh advantages one is that it weighs about a quarter of the weight of the velomobile um it's cooler yeah, definitely cooler um got a back light on so that people can see me because I do feel a bit less visible and notice that the cars are much closer and faster by quite intimidating um, yeah so today is a two-wheel ride up this lovely road and there's another bike up ahead Where cars can do to animals. One dead fox. So I'm back on the uh, back on the country road with no traffic so far, which is quite nice. Just came off the main, I think it's the A39, go to the Penzance. Saw a little friend of mine going the other way who thinks 13, riding on the main road. Some might say it's completely crazy. Others might say motorists have to do something about it by like slowing down i mean we saw the fox in the in the road dead people still overtaking me right next to it but even closer because they don't want to hit the dead fox so there's something going on why don't people just slow down advantages to riding a two bike, two, two wheel bike. Um, one is that I can just jump on it and ride it. So today I've got my just my normal trainers on. Um, with the Velomobile you do have to clip your feet to the pedals which means wearing specialised shoes which you can't really walk in um, very comfortably for very far. Uh, mind you with the Velomobile maybe you don't go walking so much. Um, I've noticed it's very windy today, very windy, and I've noticed that uh, sometimes gusts of wind can catch the bike and alter its direction a bit. Um, compared with a Velomobile, yeah, maybe about the same, maybe about the same. Just uh, with a Velomobile, obviously you uh, steer it differently, ride it differently. I love this road, it's uh, so beautiful, the trees covering the road, lovely, nice, there's a creek down there, it's actually called Queek, and the uh, seal sanctuary is uh, located over there, you can't see it in the video but it's over there, um, yeah, nice day. Lizard Peninsula and Tremaine Key. Tremaine Key, um, here we come. Running out of card space. Oh no! So here we are, uh, beautiful spot. Um, same time I was using a strimmer. Um, never mind, eh? Uh, there's my bike. Uh, you can see the tide's out. I'm not at Tremanky yet, but that leads down to uh, 
at least down to um, the River Helford, uh, which is where we're going. There's some ski stand there. Hello. Hello down there. <laughs> so this is uh, Gear Farm. It's uh, a bit of a bit of a climb up a uh, quite a big hill to get here, but uh, due to due to the um, coronavirus, uh, there is a campsite here, but it's closed. Um, they also made pasties, which you get from a barn over there. Uh, there's a car going past. Um, so they've uh, so the pasty shop was actually shut, but uh, here's a nice uh, a nice trolley with uh, lots of produce on it, and uh, as they say. Zero food miles. So there you go. Gear farm, certified organic vegetables, nature friendly. There we have it. Beautiful. Thank you, Gear Farm. So this is the last descent before the little um, off-road trek to Tremaine Key, and I probably wouldn't want to bring my Bellamobile down here. I've got my back brake on on full because. Um, you can't really see the steepness but it is pretty steep um, and coming back up would be really hard work but uh, now you see why I might have electric assist in Cornwall So here we are, Tremaine Key by two wheel bike. Over there. there we go. You can see there is nobody here, um, and I've remembered it is very often quite windy, which can present problems if you want to camp. But uh, here we are. So uh, 20 miles to get here, um, and now it's going to be a bit cold for my sandwiches, but I will go and have them in a way. Here's uh, another example of why a two-wheel bike is better um, than a Velomobile um, because I can walk and push the bike at the same time. These uh, don't actually have to be sat in it and uh, gives me a bit more freedom. 